In this video, I'll show you how you can upgrade your NVMe or SSD drive to a new one, a better one, and keep your Windows installation so you don't have to reinstall all your programs and Windows and everything. Disk management. Drive H. This drive C will be cloned into drive H. Disk 2 will be cloned into disk 3 together with all partitions. And then I will disable disk 2. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this wizard, let's start. Acronis Clone Disk. Okay, disk 3 to disk 4, source hard disk to, this is the source hard disk, so I have, this is drive H and this is drive C here, the source hard disk will be drive C here. Disk 3. Double check. Takes its time. I'm doing this the hard way. Didn't take any backups. So let's see how it goes. Target hard disk from the list below. The target will be overwritten. Disk 4, the size 931, and disk 3 is the source. 3 is the source, 4 is the target in this case. For you, it might be different. Okay, so this is the partition I made, just temporary, there's nothing there. I'm checking now. I will check drive H. Drive H is the destination target hard disk from the list below. Disk 4, Drive H. It's just a temporary partition I created, so let's go. I want to replace with everything, including bootable partition, data, anything. To use on another machine, I don't need that. To use as data disk, no need for that. Clone with bootable OS. So I clone everything onto this drive. I press next. Source disk is disk 3, target disk is disk 4, before H drive becomes the C drive. And I will have to disable the C drive. I will have to find a way to do this like that. So we are ready. Disk 3 is the source, disk 4 is the target. From H it becomes C drive. And I will have two C drives. Proceed. Okay, the cloning has started and the OBS is still recording. It's gonna take a while to finish this. Let's see how it goes.
Time to restart the computer. It says to remove the source drive, but I will I will try to disable it. Turn on the computer. I can try to boot from the new drive in the BIOS. Fire CUDA is an option, and it's the first option to boot from. And the old one, the Samsung SSD, is the second option. So we're already in business. Seagate Fire CUDA 2nd edition SSD. F7 boot boot option 1 from the fire CUDA boot option 2 disabled I don't want to boot from the old drive at all this is the Samsung disk back and this is the fire CUDA the Seagate disk F7 back to simple mode I think we're ready to go boot from fire CUDA boot menu this fire CUDA Okay, let's start it. But well, let's check, I didn't save the settings. I didn't save the settings. Yeah, I didn't save the settings, so F7. Boot, boot option one. I choose the fire CUDA. Boot option two. Disabled. So fire CUDA and disabled. Boot configuration. Okay, let's see how it goes. It's starting, but we have to check, make sure it's the starting from the right drive, the correct drive, the new one. I think it's starting from the old one. Okay, we're back. So we have drive C exactly. Drive C is the fire CUDA now. So we are good. All all good. We have drive G, which is the old Windows drive, it was automatically assigned. Drive C is now 930 giga, which is the big, the new one, 
drive G is 464 giga and it's the old one On the old drive, I'll go and rename the Windows folder. The Windows folder on the old drive is renamed now, so it shouldn't really do anything. So if I copy from the D drive onto the C drive on my desktop, seems to be okay okay